Hey, I'm Joe with Inline Warehouse. We're gonna take a look at the Rollerblade RB100 and RB90 skates for 2013. Now both of these skates are actually recommended for intermediate to advanced users. Specifically, the RB90, which is the smaller wheel skate, is recommended for people that haven't used 90 millimeter skates before because it comes with an attached brake and smaller wheels. But if you have used 90 millimeter wheels and you're looking for a little bit faster or better uh, training skate, the RB100 is definitely what you want to go for. All right, take a closer look at these skates. I've got the RB100 here. Um, there's only a few minor differences between the two, so I'll go over those as I get to them. First difference, obviously, is going to be the wheel size. Now, on the RB100, we actually have 300 millimeter wheels and one 90 millimeter wheel, and this is to help keep the frame at a minimal length so you don't have to worry about too much maneuverability issues. Um, both sets are going to be the 84 hardness wheels from Rollerblade and they're going to be socketed with the SG9 bearings so you're going to get good smooth roll, good durable, wearable wheel on them. Uh, the frames are another difference between the two. With the RB100 you do have what's known as a Spitfire frame which is really just the 90 millimeter wheel size. So there's no quality difference between the two. These RB100s have the low balance frame which is just referring to the fact that there's one smaller wheel than the rest of them. So not a big difference there. One of the nice features that both these skates do share is that these frames are laterally adjustable. So you can customize them that way, make sure you get your striding at the most optimal level. On the boot itself, one of the cool features on both of these is that the boot and shell are uni-body design, but they're molded separate. As you can see on the boots, it's got this venting on the outside shell of it, which is separate of the liner on the inside. And what this does is it really helps increase the airflow through the skate, but still provides excellent power transfer as you're striding. So that's an excellent feature offered. With the laces on them, I want to show you that you've got standard lace closure here. This is actually an adjustable ratchet buckle that snaps loose, so that's a good fit to keep your instep in, help keep your heel locked. And then the top strap here is a nice thick top strap that's actually been wrapped in a little neoprene so you have good durability there. Um, with the back here I want to show you the cuff like I said is a unibody and you're going to have some venting here at the top so you're going to see it's good airflow through the front and through the back and another nice feature is that it's got a shock absorbing heel in there. That's good because it'll help reduce a lot of the vibrations as you're skating on their rougher surfaces, help keep a comfortable ride overall. So that's a couple of the nice features on this skate. Again, most of them are shared by the RB90, but like I've highlighted, just the frame and the wheels are really the only difference between the two. Another thing I would like to point out is that the brake comes attached on the RB90, but as you see here, it's not attached on the RB100, but the RB100 does come with the brake itself and an axle, so you can attach it if you like. Thanks for checking out the Rollerblade RB190 for 2013. You can see more about these skates at inlinewarehouse.com.